Okay guys, and hello back to another Nova A tutorial video where we do a bunch of cool stuff like this 3x3 piston door that I have created right over here. Now, if you have seen my 4x4 piston door, this looks almost exactly the same. As you can tell, um, I had to use one of these uh, inside things. I'm really sorry, but I just can't find a way to get the pistons stick here um, like in Java Edition. So. In Java Edition, okay? This is in Java Edition. If you send a pulse really, really short, like um, that, it would normally just leave the block up there. So, it would, yeah. So, it would leave it there, and then the piston would retract it back down like this. In Java Edition. This does not work in, in Pocket Edition or in Windows 10. Therefore, this system does not work so I created a new thing where we have a double piston extender right over here just like in our 4x4 piston door and um, it's a bit more compact but I made it a lot a lot bigger as you can tell than it needed to be just because I wanted to add this extra air of coolness just look at the opening sequence I mean I mean come on that's just I just feel like wasting a couple more repeaters using up your resources just to make the opening sequence look this cool is totally worth it let's make this larger so we can actually see what's going on yeah just like that wonderful okay so um yeah we're gonna be building this today so uh yeah this is the stuff you need you need one lever um so I used oak blocks for the uh, the surrounding thing here. As you can tell, if we open this up, it will then be a um, full-on circle around here, which I think is pretty cool effect. Even though we are uh, only two of the pistons will actually move, so some of these blocks, like this one, won't even be pushed out. Look, if I break that one and this one and that one and this one. If we do this, you will see the door works perfectly. No, it doesn't. Okay. I do not know why that didn't work. Oh. Oh, because I, because I broke that. Oh. Okay. Oh, well. Um. Yeah. Okay. Just, just leave these blocks in here. Okay. I'm just, just a recommendation. Just don't, don't do what I just did. Okay. Let's just get started with the tutorial and um, to begin. As always, you must always know where your door starts. So, um, what you would normally have, you know, is your frame. So you really need to know this, and you have to build this part first. This is like one of the most important parts, so that you know where your door is and where all your pistons need to go. So, the first two pistons go right over, uh, oops, right over here, right behind these two. Then, you go over here, put a block down here place two pistons right over there and then you go to the top and um, place two blo a block up like that and a piston over and like that okay and so you see it looks like that now you go over here and place a piston right over here and there and therefore as you can tell if all these go in then all um, then all the blocks will be filled in except for the middle so for that reason we will put in a block right over here and put in our double piston extender. Now, this is how it should look like um, from the other side like this. And this is the front, obviously, because if you look at my closed door from the back, let's see. As you can tell, you can see the piston. That's not amazingly cool, but I, I honestly don't have any other idea. I mean, I guess you could have like a piston right over here or something. That pushes a block. I don't know. It's it's not worth it. I I don't know. I mean, there there's better ways to build this door, but this is mine, and I like it. And uh, you're watching my tutorial. Look for other ones if you want a better um, one or something. Okay. So what you begin is you send out your signal like this. Now I'm putting all these repeaters on high ticks just because I want the effect that I have on the other one over there. And if you do not want your door to take this long to open and just be like a really, really fast door, then um, you can put the uh, repeater ticks to be a lot lower. So, next thing you would 
like to do is just cover up this area here so you can see where your door is all right and then you would place um this row of torches here with a redstone repeater down there and redstone torches uh redstone dust going into that so this goes all the way up so um the thing you have to note is that this torch is off which makes these two pistons off okay so this has to, this is how you have to do it it has to go down and then up okay if you do, don't do that that's wrong then very important you must place a block on top of this unlit torch place a repeater right over here and put it on full takes the only reason I do this of course is so that I get that effect that I was talking about earlier now place um, another repeater here place redstone dust there place a block on top and if you remember with my 2x2 two two piston door what you would want to do is to place a block there and redstone dust on there and this will in fact um, open everything here. so as you can tell it all shuts nicely beautiful now, you can turn that off and as you can tell everything works nicely now comes the second part which is this so to begin you will place off of this unlit torch three blocks in this way and a block up and a block like this okay then you take out uh, redstone repeaters place them along there put them on full ticks here as well and then place blocks along here and here place a block over here and um, grab an observer block put it right into there good so now what you want to do um, is put redstone along here and repeaters into there now for the observer repeater put it on full ticks and this one going into the piston put it on three ticks you must do this correctly or else the door will not open okay three ticks four ticks and this is exactly how you have to do it these all need to be on full if you want the same effect um, you could do it lower but I don't think it's gonna work so really try to do this I know it's a lot of repeaters but guys this is the only way it will actually work okay now the next thing you will do is place in these uh, your block of choice all along here that's practically all you need this is about as thick as it is now obviously there is this observer piece but that's the only piece that's sticking out all the other stuff is kind of hidden and uh, this is uh, sticking out as well so just just keep that in mind everything else is good and then you will place a um, redstone dust right over here two repeaters here put them on full tick put a, tor a red piece of redstone over there with a block on top of that and that should be um, this pretty much complete so yeah that is is pretty much what what's going on here I'm just double checking that I didn't forget anything because sometimes I'm not very intelligent to forget let's check we flip the lever we'll go sh 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 and the middle block will go in as well and this is pretty cool because then you have like surrounded and in the middle is that so when you flick the lever, that should, in fact, retract it. So this is my 3x3 piston door. Now, obviously, um, if you're playing Java Edition, it is a lot easier, and you wouldn't need all this, and um, you could just use the uh, system I talked about earlier with a observer going into that, or you could use a super fast pulse, which you, if you don't know how to do that, that would be... Um, I'd kind of look like this with block like that and yeah that's that's kind of how I think it looks like so what you do press button here have a repeater going to there so this is this would be a super fast pulse guys if you don't know how to do it you go see it's like instantaneous actually I think if you put it on two yeah, it might be even faster. Okay, yeah, that's the fastest you can go. So that's that's pretty fast, in my opinion. Or actually, I think if you... Wait, 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 wait. Oh, my word. Okay, that is the fast. Oh, no, wait, that's the same. Never mind. Okay, it, it doesn't matter. Both of those were the fastest, but this is a bit cheaper to do. So as you can tell, this is um this, this, uh, super fast. Yeah, 
uh, mechanism right there. But even that, even the, the fastest mechanism that is available, this piston will always retract this block. Always. In Java Edition, this is not so. If the pulse is fast enough, the block will just stay. So if I do this, you can tell it went back down. But in Java Edition, it would just stay up here. And then it could just pull it right back down again. So that is not in this in this uh, world so in this uh, case so um, you have to kind of do this kind of setup in PE and Windows 10 so if you want to build this piston door do it if you don't I don't care but this is my setup and I really like the opening sequence and closing sequence because it takes so long and it has this nice setup where it goes yeah boom boom and then I love like that the last block takes longer and um it's true, I did add these extra repeaters only so that uh, it all looks pretty nice and, uh, and so that the last block also stays longer in there. So this is uh, my 3 by 3 piston door. If you have any comments, put them in the comment section below. Don't say them to your own head because then I cannot read them. Um, but otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this video guys and if you have any other redstone tutorial videos, I can totally do those. So. Um, Thanks for watching guys, and I hope to see you in the next episode, when of course it comes out. But until then, I would like to say, Nova!